Hey guys, hope you're all having a good day today. Today I'm gonna be shooting a video by myself. Chris is inside, he's he's editing a few other videos. So I decided to take this time to take a video by myself. I just washed my car about maybe a day or two ago. The whole thing looks immaculate. I think I did a pretty good job. But on my trunk, my roof, and my hood, it looks like I had like water stains. And it makes the car look so ugly. I'll show you it all close up in a few. But I was reading on the internet, whatever, YouTube, that using half 50-50 vinegar and water on the on the spots where there's water stains gets rid of all the water stains. So I'm gonna try that. I'll show you I'll see if it does good for you guys. I'll let you know how it is. And it's gonna be a short video. Don't worry, I'm not like Chris. When I say it's gonna be a short video, it's gonna be a short video. So we're see, let's get right to it. All right, guys. So you, as you can see, my car looks pretty clean. You look at the fender, nothing. Along the doors, there's nothing. All spotless. Now, once you come up here to my trunk, I really hope you can see it. You see all water stains. I hope you guys can see that through the camera. So I can see it clear as day. And I think that looks just horrible. The trunk's the worst spot. Then I have it a little underneath the trunk as well. Down here. Well, once you get to the hood too. You see ever so light water stains. And that just bugs me. Because I like my car to be as clean as possible. And these water stains make it hard to keep it clean. The two things we're going to need, actually three, is the vinegar. They said warm water, which is in Ivan here. This was Chris's, he had like a vanilla air freshener spray. And so he had this in his car. He put it in his trunk. We opened his trunk yesterday and it leaked everywhere. So there's no more air freshener spray, whatever you want to call it. So now I'm just gonna use it as my bottle for today. Thanks, Chris. So here we have the, um, uh, it's like about to here with like the hot warm water. And the rest we're gonna fill up with vinegar, it said. Distilled vinegar. All right, now we're gonna put this in here. Shouldn't be too hard. All right, we put a fair amount in. And a little more, full send, you know. All we do is full sends. Put it in. Close up the cap. Now we're gonna take this and put it on the spots and see how it works. So now we have the um, distilled water and vinegar combination here. And there's a microfiber towel. Here you can see all the water stains. I'm gonna try to zoom in real quick. I'm not really good with the camera. There they are. I'm gonna spray along the surface. And I, I know it's gonna clean all of it so you're not gonna be able to see it, but I hope it removes the stains as well. So let's see what we got. You definitely smell it. I hope the smell doesn't stay around. All right, let's see what we got. No. It did not really clean the stains off at all. Okay. It's cleaning like the brown part off, you could say, but the stains are still very, very visible. So if you're gonna do, don't, if you're gonna wanna take off water stains, don't waste your time with the vinegar. I'm sure it looks a little better in the camera. It looks better here too. But that was just like a waste of time. You could see I just wiped down all of this. I'm trying to get a good angle, I'm sorry. I'm not really the best with this. Well, you can see is the freaking reflection. You could still see that there is there is water stains see all water stains here thanks to the hat providing some shade but it didn't really work so I'm not gonna waste my time and do the hood as well but you could look here you could see it cleaned it a little bit but now you could see you could still see the stains it cleared it a little bit but the stains still exist so that was honestly a waste of my time I wouldn't do it yourself unless you're just looking for minor 
minor fixes. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. We did, the, um, we tried the vinegar and water method to get rid of the water stains on the car. You could say it worked a little bit, but the stains are still visible, which I do not like at all. So I'm gonna say no for this one. If you want, you give it a shot on your own. But I honestly didn't like it. I can still see the stains, which annoys me. But if you guys have any other methods that you've used that works or whatever, or you want to see me try to do, let me know. Leave it in the comments or DM me on my Instagram account. It's always it's always popping up. I have it on the side of my car. It's at the end of the video. So if you have anything there, just let me know. That's going to be it for the video. If you enjoyed it, just hit like. You really didn't learn much, but I appreciate the like. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave comments down below if you have other methods or ways I can improve on how to remove the water stains. Well, that's it. This is my own little video. I think I beat Chris. It's a little shorter than his short videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.